Hi, I'm a lecturer of the Zurich University of Applied Science and I'm recording this video for the Swiss Banking Advisory on the mathematical and computer science um, concepts involved in blockchain technology. Now, given this format, it is obviously that this is not going to be an in-depth discussion of the details. Uh, I rather see it as uh, a couple of pointers uh, on where, where to find more information, what are maybe the names of the concepts involved and more importantly how they interact to solve the problem that is actually solved by blockchain technology. So what, what's, what are these problems solved by blockchain technology? Um, let's, let's make it simple. Uh, let's start with the, or let's use the first blockchain, Bitcoin, as our example. Um, what problem solved Bitcoin? What is Bitcoin? Um, Bitcoin is a decentralized payment network. And in order to see what sort of a problem that is that had been solved by Bitcoin, let's uh, imagine we want to build our own decentralized payment system and we will see the kinds of troubles we are facing. The first very very simple approach would be to uh, for a group of people or a group of agents to agree on a protocol consisting basically of saying that we will send mess messages to each other and of the form I, Alice, pay one coin to Bob uh, and understand those messages as payments, as simple as that. That's, that's a protocol. Um, now, of course, you think, uh, well, this is obviously not, not working at all. It's not worth anything. And, of course, you're right. I mean, why, why is this not working? Let, let's, let's first try to find the deficiencies of this system. Um, it's, there's so many, so it's pretty hard to point out a single one, so let's just start with the first that comes to mind. Um, if Bob sends a message to Alice, I, Bob, send you one coin, he can later say he never sent this message. It will be very, very hard for Alice to prove that Bob actually sent this message. Um, this kind of problems can be fixed. and. Is the technology for that is, has been around for a long time and it's basically um, digital signatures. So with digital signatures you, 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 you have a bunch of data and you attach a, a code to this data, the signature, just like in a real document, um, which afterwards and you send the message together with the signature, uh, of which it is provable that only you could have signed the message. So it's impossible for somebody else to forge a payment in your name. Um, it is also impossible to change the contents of the data because this would change the, sig change the sig signature as well. So yeah, we, we, we solved this first problem. Um, are we done? Is this all we need to do? Uh, of course not. 